Within CADS RC, there is a viewport manager system, which assists in the manipulation of viewports. Just add the drawing sheet to the layout, selecting the size of sheet you want to use. And then, like normal AutoCAD, fill in all the attributes on the drawing border, for example the client, the architect, the drawing title and site reference, and also who it was drawn by and checked by. All these are now shown in the drawing border within AutoCAD. As per usual, the detailing will be done in model space. For this example, we will insert a block with CADS RC bars already on. This is done by using the AutoCAD insert command and dropping it onto the screen. The detail has been inserted at 1 to 20, which is the scale we originally set. To add the viewport, we go to Viewport Manager define our viewport by picking the two corners and then position the viewport over the detail. We now have the beam in the 1 to 20 viewport. If you want to add another viewport, simply pick the viewport command again, enter the scale in and create the viewport. In this example, we can drag the sections down and insert them into the new scale area. This is done just by using the AutoCAD Move command and moving the objects down. Notice the outlines remain at 1 to 1, but this time the text has been rescaled to suit the scale. Within paper space, all the text is now the same height. If you want to resize the viewport, we can select the corners and again, using AutoCAD, simply drag and resize the viewport. As you can see, we now have two different scales, one at 1 to 10 and one at 1 to 20, and again, you can see how the text is scaled. If I want to set up another scale area, this time say 1 to 5, we pick another viewport which can overlap in paper space and then position the scale area around the object which needs to be scaled. Once again, in paper space, you will see all the text is the same height, including the dimensions and all AutoCAD text. Back in model space, they will have different heights as they are being scaled for the correct scale. Because we are using AutoCAD, once we get to the end of a drawing, we can simply go to the AutoCAD layers and switch off the viewports. This gives us a drawing that we can now plot.